This is a very, very special VIP in the house right yes. now. Yes, okay, now we, before we get started on our Friday, yeah, you know, it's a very special day. We were settling into our cocktails, but Jeffrey, we heard that uh, <laughs> you're a bourbon kind of brother. Uh, <laughs> What's up with that? Did you yes. bring something for us? Yeah, they well, switched up our drinks. Well, I, I did bring uh, something a little special. This, uh, this is made with a bourbon called Uncle Nearest. Uncle okay. Nearest. Okay. Uncle Nearest. And Uncle Nearest is named uh, for a man named Nathan Nearest Green, who okay. was born in Tennessee, who was a master distiller. Uh, and we don't know his name, but we might know the name of a young guy who came to work for him when he was eight years old mm -hmm. okay. and learned to be a master distiller, a master maker of whiskey from, from Uncle Nearest. Uncle Nearest. His wow. name was Jack Daniel. Oh. We know. Whoa. I and we know that this. name. Whoa. Right. You, heard, you heard of that name? Yeah. So, yeah. This is one of the great, iconic American brands, a great whiskey known right. all yeah. around the world. And the story has come out in the last couple of years that that brand mm -hmm. is largely due to the expertise <gasps> of a slave named Nathan Near Screen. And this wow. bottle wow. is a new bottle uh -huh. that celebrates his, his work his memory, and his That's name. Awesome. Well, cheers to him. Yes. Thank cheers. you so much for enlightening us with him. Cheers. 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 So cheers. Yes. Cheers to, to not only to Uncle Nearest, but to those many thousand Uncle Nearest that we don't know oh, uh, right. yet. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Right? Because simply because you were a slave yeah. did not mean that you couldn't be a genius. Yes. Yes. Right. Right. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you for honoring for us this. with this. My Cheers. gosh. Well, oh, it's yummy you're a man too. of good taste. So good. Many talents, good. Uh, I mean, beyond. But you also surf. So tell us, how'd you get into this? Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, yes, I, I started surfing first when uh, I went to Hawaii okay. with, nice. hey, oh, give wow. it up for Hawaii. That's give it up, give kid. it up. Oh boy, oh boy. Your picture. Great so uh, I went with my kids uh, about six years ago and my daughter was, before we got out there, she said, Dada, Dada, we gotta surf, we gotta surf. And I'm like, where's this coming from? And then I realized, I put it together, she had been watching uh, Barbie videos at <laughs> friends' houses and Malibu Barbie surf. Yeah. Yeah. So yep. she needed yep. to surf. So we got out there, we took a couple of lessons. I really loved it. They loved it. Happened to go back to Hawaii to work on the Hunger Games. Oh, uh, yeah. Later that Love year that for a month, I took a couple more lessons. I bought a board and I just started going out and I haven't stopped since. Wow. 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 It's very difficult to get out. It's the greatest thing in the world. It, you know, that and bourbon for me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love that.